today with our brand new subscription box all about the wobbling characters it's number 40 we're going to be making uh, this one here look at this now look at the character it wobbles and do you know what really really easy to create so let's dive straight in and what we're going to do is we're going to start with the stamping so we're going to be using our alcohol proof ink pad because I'm going to be using my tri blends now I'm going to stamp onto by Nina if you don't have Nina you can use your white smooth stamping card and then we can come in with our stamping or dies now for this one we're going to go in with the cute little pussycat so let's take our stamp off and each of the images or the characters have all got their own corresponding die. So I know that this one is of the pussycat because it matches the outline. But what we've also done as well is because the shape of the character differs slightly, we've given you your own little spiral die for each of the characters. So I'm going to use the one that comes with the pussycat. So we can take this one off and I have got all my elements ready to go. So therefore, what we can do is bring in our stamping platform and our stamping mat, and we're going to line up our stamp, you know, within the middle. Doesn't need to be exact because we will be coming to die cut it. So let's go in, let's ink up with our stamp. Once again, this is our Noir Black alcohol proof. So we can then come in, and then I'm going to stamp all the way around with some pressure. And then what we can do is then remove that and we've got a cute little character. You can either colour just now and then die cut or die cut then colour. So I think what we will do is we will then cut it out. Then we can do a little bit of colouring. So what I'm going to do with all of our dies that come with a stamp, all that I'm doing is making sure I've got a nice little white line all the way round. And then I'm going to then take that into place. Now these, because of the size, will go through your Gemini Mini and your Gemini Go, so you know that you can work with your smaller machines. Now before I die cut that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with our little spiral here. Now there's two ways in which you can use it. We suggest using some acetate. That's really going to give it some flexibility and it's going to be able to wobble a lot more. If you don't happen to have acetate, you can use some of our white smooth stamping card or Nina card or black card, any card round about 300 GSM. But let's go in with our die. So what we can then do is bring in our plates and they're going to then layer up onto my base plate. And what I'm going to do as well, with acetate, you will need your metal shim when it comes to your Gemini. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my metal shim, even cutting into cardstock. It's not going to affect it. It's not going to do any damage. It means that we can do two lots of cutting at once. So we can then line this one up. So popping that one through our Gemini. I can move all these little bits out the way because these are so simple but so quick to make as well. The only time consuming bit is the colouring and even then, because they're really small, it takes no time at all. So what we can then do is we can take our little pussy cut that's die cut just beautifully and then what we can do is we can come in with our little spiral. Now it is there, good old acetate, always hard to see, but it is there. So let's set that to the side. Now I will do a very, very quick bit of colouring so that you can see, but then I can bring in the one I've already got and then what we can do, start to assemble it. So I'm going to go in with my gold brown shades and then what we can start to do is let's go in with the lightest tone and I'm going to work my way into the left hand side. So we're going to work our way and with tri blends, class six, if you want to do that shading, by all means you can do. Or if you want to lay down one base of colour, then that's all that you need to do as well. Keep it as simple or keep it as decorative as you want. So let's go in to here. I'm going to end about there. What we can then do is go back. Let's finish off the ear on this one. And then what I can do is come in with the darker shade and I'm going to add some just to the left hand side. I'm going to go into the mid-tone and then I'm going to blend that one out. 
So we're going to have a little bit of a shadow towards the left hand side. Let's blend that one out. And then what I'm going to do is let's finish off that one here. So go into the corners. So I'll only do the face here and then I'll show you what I've done and I'll give you the colours as to what I've used as well. So you would then carry on colouring in. That will start to evaporate a little bit more. So let's pop that one to the side. Then what we're going to be left with is a little piece of cat. So I have used gold brown shades. I have used pale pink shades. I've used ice blue blend. That's for the outline of the pussy cat. Ice grey blend and also dusky purple blend. That's all from our tri blend colours. So then what we can do, super simple, pop it together. I've brought in one of our small cards from our subscription kit. And what I've done is taken an additional piece the same size. So it's just one piece of cardstock. And I've also folded this one in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own little easel. So on this bottom part, let's pop some adhesive all the way around. And then we can then line that one up to there and there, pressing that in, giving that a nice little rub so that the heat will then go through the adhesive and make it really, really strong. And then we've started to get our easel that we can say just here. But what we can then do now is let's do the decoration. So I'm going to come in with some mats and layers, pattern paper and with that mint on the back that we can see here, all from the subscription kit, everything I'm using, Apart from the adhesive and the, the ink and the pen, it's all part of subscription bit. So let's come in to our next panel. So what we can do with this one is we can, actually let's go in, yeah, let's change it. Let's go in with that one. So we're breaking it up with borders. We can then pop that one into the middle there. Bringing in a little rectangle, just big enough for our little character. So let's go in with this one. And once again, I'm going to add some adhesive. Most of these layers I am using our tape runner because I don't want much height because our little wobbler is going to give us the height for that. So I'm going to open this one up. And then once again, just a couple of layers all from the subscription box. Let's work our way around. Let's bring in our bottom layer. So we can then line this one up within the middle, get it as close to the middle, press. And then once again, I'm going to go in with the banner. Now this one, I'm going to pop on a few bits of foam pads because what this is going to do, is this is going to act as our stopper for our easel. So we can then come in with this one. We're going to go in. I'm using foam pads, but you could be using your glue gel if you want. That's going to go, I'm going to come further down towards the bottom and then I'm going to press. And by doing that, it means that we're going to get our top part, our face folding more at an angle. So let's open it up once more. And then onto a piece of our white card, you can see I've stamped out the sentiment. This also comes included as well. And this one says, you're possum. So what we can then do is let's lift this one up. Then, Popping that one in. Now, what we can then do using our spiral, now trust me, it is there. Then what I'm doing is I've got a little bit of a red liner tape. This is going to be your best friend for these wobblers. And all that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit within the middle. So I'm pressing that in. Then what I can do is I can then remove that back in. So peeling that one off. Now this one, I'm going to go straight onto the back of the pussy cat, and then we can press that one in. Then what I can do is I can take another little piece and where the spiral ends, right at the end here, I'm going to pop another piece and press. What we can then do is we can then pop that one off. We can then come into place. We can press that in, give it a really good press so it sticks. Then what we can also do is just keep pulling it a little bit just so that we get a little bit of flexibility. And then there we go. You can see we've got our wobbler character. We can then come in with a bow to finish off. 
that can sit into the middle there and then if you want to give it even more of a helping hand hold it secure it give it a little bit of a play and then there we go turning it around we have got our card with our little wobbler character which has been made using a brand new subscription kit which is all about the wobbler characters box number 40.